Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with what I've melted recently. I think it's been about 10 days or so since the last time that I recorded one of these. It may be two weeks. I'm not, I'm very fuzzy on <laughs> the details. Um, my kids go back to school next Thursday, the 30th, no, 31st they start. Um, and they are going back traditional learning for now. Um, my son is special needs and he regressed some and started having behavioral issues with not having his school structure. Um, there's been several of us who have gone back and forth on the subject that are in, you know, their kid, our kids are all in the same special ed class. We feel like the benefits of them being in school as of right now outweigh the risks. Um, they are in very very tight um classes they are in just a spe the special ed class with between six and eight kids in each class and for me him having the structure and the like the therapies he needs speech therapy and they were not it's only he only gets it through the school and they weren't sending a speech therapist out obviously to people's houses during the quarantine or anything so he just he's he's really struggled with that so um i gave my sixth grader the option <clears throat> of what she wanted to do um she's decided to go she's got her mask sitting right over there um she is ready to go back she is a very social person and her grades dropped pretty drastically doing the digital for the last two months of school so for me it was a very hard decision because I want to protect my children but I also can't have my son completely regress and go back to not talking or go back to nonverbal or something. We've worked very hard to get him where he is. Um, <clears throat> so I made the very difficult decision to send them back for now. And our school system is very good about letting us switch if need be. So I'm happy with that. Um, so things should get back to normal where I'm going to be doing a weekly um, video instead of every 10 days to two weeks video because I will have the time in the mornings after I take them to school. Right now, I take Robert to work and I'm just exhausted, so I go back to bed. And this is usually my time to record. It's like 5.30 in the morning and this is usually my time to record. So therefore, it's been very hard for me to stay awake after I take him to work. Um, I have chronic insomnia. By the time I get home from dropping him off, I just wanna go to bed. Um, so I'm hoping that when they go back to school, I will have more time to get, you know, my videos done and get back on a normal routine, I guess. So there's that. So you're going to have a lot of videos this week. I have three hauls sitting in front of me. Plus I have this, plus I have another haul that I should be getting in the end of the week to beginning of next week. And um, I'm pretty much done buying wax except for my top favorites. So my very, very top favorites like Pink Sugar Sleepy Time from Sassy Girl. Um, you know, a, a couple from VCS, a couple from Rose Girls, a couple from Super Tarts. I will still buy those. Otherwise, I'm pretty much done for the next year or so till after I have my surgical procedure that we have to pay out of pocket for because it's, it's considered elective and insurance doesn't cover it. I know I've had people comment that, um, you know, oh, check with your insurance because I might cover it. It is 100% elective. So um, insurance, there's no insurance on the face of this earth that covers it. And that's fine. We're just going to use our taxes for it. But we need to save otherwise because um, it's about, it's between six and $7,000 out of pocket. So we'll need some cash along with it because we have to travel about four or so hours, four, four and a half hours. So there's travel expenses along with it. So um, it's something that I need to pretty much get serious about. So that's why I did do several big orders with some vendors this past week, knowing I was going to have to be done uh, because I literally have to put every penny into savings now. So um, I am for all intents and purposes done buying, like I said, unless my top favorites come back out, but 
um, we'll have to see, you know, when that happens. So I've rambled for five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and jump in. I'm going to show you guys what I did not finish and end with what I did finish. Um, I am still working through my summer basket. I'm really wanting fall though. I've, been, I've already pulled my fall scents last night and I'm like, mm, I want them, but they're boxed up ready for about September, but I'm ready. Um, I may start first of September because I am so ready, even if it's 800 degrees out. All right. From Sassagor Aroma, I chopped this loaf. Very ugly chop. Strawberry cotton candy frosting, saltwater taffy marshmallow. This is pretty old. You can tell by the label. It's about, I would say, two, two and a half years old. Still performing very, very well. Very fruity. Um, cotton candy frosting marshmallow kind of soothe out the fruit. The saltwater taffy and strawberry are very, very fruity. Um, so what I do with my loaves, I don't microwave them before I chop them. So it makes a very ugly chop. I have heard from people in the wax community over the years that if you microwave the wax before you chop it, the scent doesn't last as long. So I try not to microwave the big bulk items because I don't want the scent to dissipate before I'm able to get through the loaf. So I ugly chop my loaves, but it's all going to melt the same. So who cares? So I did this all through the house one day super strong. I could still smell it off and on. I would say eight to 10 hours later, I could still smell it, which is pretty good. All right. Also from Sassagor Roma, I have pink chiffon, ocean breeze and shaving cream. So this one I chopped up. I took two chunks, chopped them in half and did them in every warmer. So I have four warmers going in my house as of right now. I have a fifth one right here. This big lots one. I haven't turned it on yet um but I'm going to so this was really good it was very fresh um it was a very nice blend this was another one that lasted all day um I could still smell it it got very light about the seventh hour which is fine I mean by then I don't expect wax to last all day so when I get seven hours out of you know, a melt. I'm happy. There's two chunks left in here. So I'm hoping to get this done before the next video. Cause I'm really not trying to hoard um, my wax anymore. Cause I just have so much from Hayden row. I melted some beach bum. This one is bergamot, gardenia, lavender, rose, sand, and musk. So this, I do not obviously melt in the bedroom at bedtime. It is despite having lavender in the scent description, it is pure beach. Um, this one I primarily melt in the bathroom because it does give off that uh, beachy vibe. This to me smells like the sand, the air, and the water at the beach. Um, that, that's just how I describe it. And I love it. And then this one performs very well also. I get probably at least six hours out of that scent. From Rose Girls, I did some more Lemon Summer Breeze. This is a lemon laundry scent. I only have four little pieces left of this mini melter bag. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to finish that this coming week as well. Um, this is from 2018. Still very strong. I put two little, there were two little pieces in here. I put on the other day in the bedroom. I it was Saturday. I put something on and couldn't smell it. So I changed it and put this on. And Robert really liked it. And of course, it's a laundry scent. So he loves laundry. All right. And then I did some more pink sugar sleepy time. If I don't, if you don't see this in my weekly video, call for help because <laughs> there's something wrong. Um, pink sugar, lavender, spearmint, chamomile, my number one favorite. I do have this and two more full loaves. I will purchase it next time it is offered in loaves. I will purchase another one or two loaves. Um, this is just my go-to for bedroom. I have been really trying. You'll see coming up. I have really been trying to get through some of my other bedroom scents because I have a lot of bedroom scents. So I've been really trying to focus on those. So the pink sugar sleep of time should last me longer because I am trying to get through what I have. From Rose Girls, I did some Nilla Lavender Noel. Um, I did two of these little pieces the other day. Um, this was really good. A very nice sweet lavender. And then you definitely got that Nilla wafer and vanilla bean Noel. It was a very nice um, scent. This is one that I would definitely pick up in mini melters. All right. And then from Super Tarts, I did some Rosemary's Baby. For those of you who don't know what this is, it is bedtime bath, rosemary mint, and uh, herbal lavender. 
This one is another top favorite of mine. I have, I think, three more BAM bags after this one. Um, this is one that I will always keep on hand. It's one that if I get down to like three BAM bags total, I will look out for it to be posted again and I'll buy more. All right, from VCS, I did some of this sluggish slush, sweet cherry lemonade slush. So um, I just did a little piece in my kitchen or my living room one day. Um, I had something else going in every other warmer, so I decided just to do a little piece. So I did a quarter of a coin. And this is really good, a very nice fruity, fruity lemonade. And then from Super Tarts, I did some more Luna, lemon curd, French vanilla, and Twilight. Speaking of Luna, and I'm going to get rambly again. So I had some people not too happy with me saying that I was um, shutting my our new cat Luna in my bedroom. So um, the shelter that we got her from had recommended because we have other cats while she was healing from her surgery, her being spayed to keep her shut in one room because they were afraid if she, while she was getting acclimated to the other cats, if they all tried to fight, her incision would open. So they recommended we keep her, um, kept her in the room, it, just in one room until she was healed. Um, and so that's what we did. And I did get several negative comments about that. Um, we don't do it to be mean. Um, I don't know why people always feel the need to come for me about things. Um, the, I didn't know I had to explain my life story as to why we kept her in the bedroom. But that's what was recommended to us because we have other cats. She really hasn't been around many other cats. So they didn't want her to get hurt in, you know, while she was getting used to the other cats. And she had an open wound or an incision that could reopen if she got in a fight. So that's why we kept her in the, you know, locked in the bedroom. So I know I don't have to explain anything to anybody, but I do get tired of negativity when all I did was make a comment about her being in my bedroom. And then all of a sudden I had, I had several comments I had to delete because one, my kid gets on and watches my videos and people get to name calling. I don't want her to read those things. I mean, she's 13 and she doesn't need to read negative about her mom. So I had to delete several comments. I didn't delete ones that were kind of neutral about it, but I did, there were a couple I had to d delete that were horribly mean. Like I'm the worst person on earth and don't deserve pets and don't deserve my kids. And it's like, are you kidding me right now? So anyways, so back to the wax. Um, it just reminded me of that when I got this. This one is another one I absolutely love. I love that Twilight. It's a lush dupe. And mixed with the lemon curd and French vanilla, it is just so good. All right. Sassagora Roma. Toasted marshmallow, graham cracker, salty sierra. I love this. This, this was something that I loved before the Beach Nights phase came out. Now, Beach Nights, I love a ton more. There's no comparison. For those of you who have smelled both, you know there's no comparison. This is more of a salty sea air, um, you know, type scent, whereas that one, Beach Nights, is just so creamy. Um, it is really good. It still performs very well. It is definitely not Beach Nights, but you guys know that. All right, from L3, What Dreams May Come, which is Liana's Lullaby, Lavender and Spring Breeze. Spring Breeze is a laundry scent. Liana's Lullaby is like, is it lavender and chamomile? I don't remember. Uh, but this was a chunk. I have one left, so I'll finish that this coming week. Also from Sassy Girl, I did some Blackberry Flintstones Coconut Cream Pie, Plump back Blackberries, Strawberries, Raspberry Guava, Fruity Pebbles, Marshmallow, Vanilla Bean Noel Birthday Cake. I don't know why it says Coconut Cream Pie because there's no Coconut Cream Pie in the description. It is what it is. Um, this is really good though. Very fruity and a little bit of that cereal type scent. All right. And then from Sassy Girl, I also am working on Disneyland. So I have this much left, not much. I do have a brittle in, what's it, pistachio Disneyland. I think I ordered a blackberry Disneyland brittle from the latest pre-order. And then I have a whole loaf of this coming from one pre-order. I don't remember. This is really good. Very fruity. All right. Trying to find the rest of what I did not finish. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. 
So then from VCS, I did some beach bombshell. This is really good. Bright citrus coconut lotion sea salt. I'll finish that this coming week. It's a very, very nice like suntan lotion type scent. I believe this is the last non-empty. From L3, this one is Think Happy Thoughts, Pirate's Life. It's very fruity. Um, I've been doing just one of these, so I'll cut these in half and do one in each warmer. Very nice, good performance. I really love her wax. It performs very well for me. All right, now on to the empties. So I don't have a ton of empties, but I do have a few. So the first one I have is Closet Full of Wax, and this is Charming, Sweet on Paris, Marshmallow Clouds, Vanilla Lace. This one was absolutely amazing. I had never tried Closet Full of Wax before. This I would definitely get in bulk. Um, I'm going to actually write down the scent notes for this. And I'm actually going to peel the sticker off the bag and then put it in a notebook. And I'm going to start saving those so that I can go back and try to find what I really liked. This, though, I would buy in bulk in a heartbeat. And it performed very, very well. I melted it at bedtime. Then I have Salty Sierra Sunny Beaches Coconut Marshmallow from Sassy Girl. This was... Um, a sampler tile so I cut it in um, I cut it in half I put half in my bedroom and then I cut the other half in half and put a quarter in my bathroom and a quarter in the kitchen that must be the day that I did that sluggish slush piece in the living room because I had three-fourths of the warmers this was very good this the salty Sierra was the most dominant but it smelled really good and did last quite a while from VCS I finished the winged mermaid is a little over three years old shimmering blue lagoon salty sierra coconut i love this scent this is one i would definitely buy in a loaf or a bag of some kind it is very nice very fresh um just an amazing scent and then from teddy bees lavender orange sherbet so this is pretty much the same as lavender orange dream from super tarts so i don't know that i get it from teddy bees again just because I have a whole band bag from Super Tarts in it. And it is, is easier to come by from Super Tarts than it is from Teddy Bees. But I would buy it if I had to. Empire Alchemy Lavender Linen. So this is a lot lighter. I've really not had very good luck with the stuff I melted from her. Um, I have only gotten stuff in D-stashes. This was an extra I got in a D-stash. It was a little piece. Um, just very light. Um, just not... Not a strong scent. I could barely smell it from the bed. And my bed is maybe two, three feet max from my warmer. Usually stuff knocks me through a loop and that just didn't do much. True Lavender from Col Closet Full of Wax. This was very good as well. This performed very, very well. I've had very good luck from Closet Full of Wax from what I have melted. I've only melted like three, four things. Um, I've had uh, samples that I've gotten in these stashes, and her stuff does perform well for me. Lavender vanilla, vanilla from that Smell Good Shop. This was an extra I got in a D-stash. It was a scent shot that was pretty much crumbled. This is really good as well. All right, I have a few scent shots. I have Sun and Sand from K. Cut these in quarters, did a quarter in each of the four warmers. This one I would buy, back, buy in a heartbeat. She is reopening... This coming weekend, I am tempted to place an order before I officially go on my ban. I think I'm officially going to ban starting August 1st. I like to do it on like the first of the month. That way, that gives me a chance to tie up any loose ends. I may place another order with Kay. Now, this is from May of 2019, so we're talking a little over a year old. Still performed very, very well. I got a good solid 10-12 um, hours out of this. Another one that I will pick up in a heartbeat, Sand and S'mores. This is the same thing, quartered it. This was so good. I would get several of these as well. I may do the cuts in this scent and just do it in one, or I may just get a couple scent shots. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do if she, if I if I do anything when she reopens. And the last thing for this week is TikTok the Croc, which is Tropical Wind Salty Sierra Driftwood from L3. This is another one that I quartered. Very fresh, a really good scent. I really enjoyed this one. You definitely got that salty sea air, but you got that tropical winds, which is like a fruity scent. All right, so that is everything. So I 
am hoping to get back on a weekly schedule. Fingers crossed I can get back on a weekly schedule. Um, maybe next week. So that is everything. Thank you for watching. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.